All right, well, we are going to install the Burna Boost onto the Burna SD. And this is going to be the full install. We're going to go from uh, just opening the, the box to the installation. So kick back and, and come along with us, and we'll see how quickly this goes. So this is uh, how it comes, the Burna Boost. And what this does is this will adapt the, the SD, which holds 8 gram CO2, to 12 gram. So that's your, your adapter, and that's going gonna, that's gonna to go right there. So inside we get some instructions. And then the pieces needed to, uh, to make it all happen. So let's set that aside here. Okay. Well, I'm going to go through th these instructions with you so you can see exactly how it's done. All right. So, number one, using the 3 and 32 second hex key, remove the 332 inch hex screw from the right adapter of the assembled adapter. Okay. All right, so we are going to remove I need a couple of these. Hey, and I'm no expert here. I'm, I'm doing this along with you just so you can see how it's done. So it would like us to remove uh, this guy right here. Oh. It's in tight. They used to must have used uh, some type of impact. Oh my goodness! Well, okay. I don't know if you heard that pop, but yeah, that was that was in there tight. Okay. Well, that is what holds that together. Okay. That screw there. Got it. Okay. Place the left adapter A in position on the left side of the burna. Okay. So again, that's going to go like that. And they want that to be um, like so. Okay, well, that makes sense. All right. Okay. Oh, you know what, guys? I didn't say to do this yet, but uh, I am fairly certain we need to remove this guy right here. The CO2 cap, because otherwise it's going to be buried under that uh, extender. There we go. Let's remove that. Set that kind of up there, maybe. All right. Okay. Back to putting this on. So, okay, we've got that on now. I guess we can leave that to the side. Okay, place the left adapter. Okay, we did that. Making sure the top clip of the adapter is positioned behind the front sight. Okay, and that top clip right there is behind the front sight. All right. Okay, and yeah, it just says to make sure that the this aligns with the, the Picatinny rail there. So that's, that's all aligned. Number four, align the top clip of the right adapter B in position so that it locks behind the top clip of the left adapter. Okay, so like so, and
Okay, so you've got to put that part on first. Then slide that in. Okay. So there's a little pro tip. You gotta put this side in first and then the bottom side. I tried to do it the opposite way. All right. Like I say, we're, we're learning here together, folks. This is a first time install. So, okay. Now it's clipped, it's locked in there. Um, the two sides of the adapter will align when firmly pressed together, but many parts, but m may part slightly when released. Okay. Insert three M3 hex nuts. All right, in the positions of the right adapter and three M3 screws in the left adapter. Okay, so we are talking about putting three adapter, three screws in this side. Okay, the three hex nuts D in the positions of the right adapter. So it's gonna be here. Oh, there's a third. I was only seeing three, I mean two. So one, two, and then one up there. Okay, gotcha. <coughs> Again, hey, this is what you get. We're doing this together, folks. Okay, so putting, oh, I hope you have uh, smaller fingers than I do. This is, I got these big, Big old Sasquatch hands here. As my friend from uh, Vice Grip Garage would say. <laughs> okay. All right. So those are those are in there now. Okay. Now insert the screws from the other side. So I guess you got to come up from the bottom because if you flip it over, it's just going to fall. And that's going to be the, the smaller of the hex nut tools. Okay, yep, I can feel that snugging up. Nice. Okay, next one. I'm gonna go down here. And I'm coming at it with the, the hex nut from the bottom, I mean the hex nut tool. Uh, And then holding that nut into place so it doesn't pop out as you, you tighten it down. Now I'm just going to do get all three in before I really crank on it. Okay, so all three of those are in now. And then it says use the two millimeter hex key to lightly tighten the top M3 hex screw. Okay. Then tighten the lower two until there's not a gap between the two sides. I don't see a gap. I think that I think that we did did a good job there. All right. Okay. It says do not over tighten them. Well, based on the uh, <laughs> the way they came, my goodness, they were pretty tight. But I am going to snug them up a little more. I think that these are on just the way they should be. So I'm going to snug them up a little more. Okay. Now we're off to all the way down to number nine on the instructions. Replace the 332 hex screw. That's one that we took out of the very beginning up here. And that had the bigger, the bigger hex tool. 
and you may have noticed I'm really bad about reading every last detail on these instructions. I read about half the sentence and then I'm off doing it and that's uh, caused me some problems in the past. <laughs> so uh, do not over tighten. So again, I, I'm just kind of doing it kind of snug. I mean, I, you don't want it to, to fall apart. Um, and then number 10, inspect the burn adapter to make sure it's tightly fitting and the screws are tight. Boy, I think it looks looks pretty nice. Um, I think it's all it's all tight the way it should be. And continue with the installation instructions of the CO2 cylinder. So um, that's going to be putting this cap back on. And uh, it's ready for a 12, 12 ounce cartridge now. So essentially what Berna did with this SD is, uh, and again, just kind of snug on those. And then you can put the, put the magazine back in. Safety's on. Um, there's nothing, nothing in here. I should have said that at the beginning. Make sure that there's no ball in the chamber. Uh, when there's a ball in the chamber, this would be, this would be up. And I, I took out the magazine. Safety's on, so yeah, that, that should all be done. But yeah, it's, it's this is ready to go. I'm excited. I'm gonna go, uh, go gonna go try this. Um, my my personal uh, opinion on this uh, this Burna Boost for me, uh, most of the time when I'm carrying this, I'm not gonna want the Burna Boost on there. It makes it big, and I, uh, I I want it to be smaller when I'm when I'm carrying it around, but. If I'm going to go out shooting for fun, some target practice, and uh, I want it to last a little longer, so I'm not swapping out the CO2 cartridges all the time, then I'm going to put this Burna Boost on, and uh, you get the 12 ounces, and you're going to get a lot more shots out of it than the 8 ounce. And uh, I understand it's a little more powerful too. So I guess there is that uh, to argue um, if you would. Uh, maybe want to to have it on there for self-defense because it might be a little more packing a little more punch but uh, uh, in my opinion for for me I would rather have it just be a little bit smaller because I'm carrying this in a backpack or in a carry case or something and I want it to be um, I want it to be as small as possible but I love the Berna SD and uh, having this new Berna Boost is, is awesome. Uh, you can buy this on our website uh, already made. Uh, it's the, the Berna SD XL and uh, it comes with the 12 ounce cartridges. Basically the same kit as the uh, Berna SD, but you get the, the adapter already installed and uh, it's factory installed and then you're getting the 12 ounce uh, uh, adapters with it. Or if you already have the SD or you want to buy the SD and, and keep the uh, uh, option to not have it on, you just buy the Burna Boost. Um, as you can see, you know, a little, about 10 minutes or so, uh, you have the advantage of watching this video now, which I didn't. <laughs> and uh, uh, hopefully you can do it even faster. And if you have, uh, you know, maybe more nimble fingers, you can, you can handle those little hex nuts a little better than I did. But overall, not too bad. Pretty quick install. And I am super stoked to get out and use this now. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to check out bringitselfdefense.com for all of your Burna supplies and Burna launchers. Thank you.